to the next story. The Vice President Yemiyo Shimbaja has said that the federal government can no longer, or rather no longer has the resources to fund the National Health Insurance Scheme. He said the government was seeking funding from the World Bank and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations who provide better health insurance coverage for Nigerians. Oshimbajo said this at a forum in Minneapolis in the United States, which was attended to by Nigerians, according to the statement. Now, quote unquote, he said, on improving the health budget at state and federal levels, the focus is on trying to do the national health insurance because funding health care through budgeting has proved to be practically impossible. We simply do not have the resources. The states and the federal government cannot do enough. So the national health insurance is, very, is a very basic part of it, and we are currently now working with the World Bank and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to establish a proper national health insurance scheme. Less than 7 million out of over 180 million people in the country are covered by the NHIS, and the majority of the enrollees are the federal government workers, according to the NHIS. Specifically, about 75% of the enrollees under the health insurance scheme are federal civil servants. Shukudi, I'm sure you already know how I'm feeling about this story. Laura, is all yours. First, first and foremost, it is sad that you have, you know, people who are experts in this profession leaving the country in their numbers every day in search of a better life. And you look at the situation and begin to wonder how hopeless and helpless Nigerians have found. I mean, you have headache, you begin to confess because you have been told in church or at Asalatu, and you should not say anything negative. Oh, it's, my head is just doing doom, 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 doom. I'm healed. I'm strong. Access to basic health care is a luxury in Nigeria. There's no need to even emphasize the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, since assuming office, had traveled severally to the United Kingdom to get the very best of Medicare. We don't have any problem with that, even though it's a problem. But let's not have any problem with that because the president has to be as fit as Fido. He's our father. He has to be as fit as Fido. But the least that you can do for the people is to ensure that you improve our health care. Over 75% of those who are enrollees are federal civil servants. And do you know how, they deduct, how these deductions are made? 10% of, the of their annual basic salary. And for those of us that are in the rural, 5%. Okay. But yet, we still cover ourselves with the blood and put anointing oil to treat ailments that we have doctors that can do so. Shukudi, let's take this solution that they've come up with. We're going to turn over again to the World Bank. We're going to turn over to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and we are going to look to these two organizations to help us to fund our national health insurance scheme. Shukudi, this just falls back down to aid. And what exactly does aid do to our economy? Well, the truth is, those who give it to you have, you know, uh, conditions that are tied to what they give to you. Or like the People MOU pay, that we just exactly. signed with the World Bank and Switzerland about what to do with the Abacha loots. It's not their business. You placed yourself in a precarious situation. Because he who plays the pipe at the table. They are taking so. advantage of you. And that is why we must have people that can see beyond their nose. People who are visionary. People who have ideas. People who are innovative. To preside over the administrative affairs of our country and chart a course for development. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation will not take you serious if you are not serious. This is not about mounting. Oh, we want to, we want to, we want to. When Chief Olusha Gobasanjo held his card, people were excited. You just read it now. If you look at the percentage of those that are covered, looking at Nigeria's population, you will weep and cry. Okay, I wonder how mean... much we have invested in this without seeing any result. But if this is the way to go, Let's say, okay, it's not just about discussing the problems. We must also prefer solutions, right? And this is a solution. We must show that, for example, the Bill, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation that say that they are serious and they are ready to partner with a government that says it is committed to change. They must notice certain, you know, seriousness on your part. And all this talk about not having, you know, uh, proper mechanisms in place or platforms to ensure that money that is invested goes through the right channel and gets to those who are supposed to use this money judiciously, then it's a waste of time. Okay, Chukudi, let's even keep the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation aside for a second and let's focus on the World Bank. Nigeria, Africa, is trapped in a very vicious cycle of aid. And now we want to throw our health insurance scheme into that exact same vicious cycle 
of aid. Is that going to help or hurt the health sector in Nigeria? Sustain, I'm talking sustainably. I'm not looking over the next year or two years. I am talking in the long term. What exactly is that going to do to the Nigerian health sector? Now, if you look at the argument on the part of the federal government, you know, it is clear that using our national budget every year, the situation we find ourselves in today, we cannot, you know, get out of that difficult situation. Sorry, do already. we even budget for healthcare? It's it's four percent. That is the problem. Your budget for healthcare is four percent. Meanwhile, your national assembly gets how many billion? Your governors get how much in security votes? So there's a lot of wastage in government. The resources that should be channeled into the right areas or sectors are not channeled. So Britain would, it's not just the World Bank, Britain would institutions will take advantage of you because you have placed yourself in a, in a difficult situation. You see, when you give and in turn, you're considered as somebody who is, um, you're considered as a partner that is of interest or that has value. Nobody will take you for granted. But when you're always receiving and receiving and receiving and you give nothing in return, then you're in serious trouble. So Britain would institutions from time immemorial even though people have come out to say, oh, this is what they have done, this is what they have done, they take advantage of you. But because you're receiving and they're telling situation. you what to do with the money. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. So how different is that from the structural adjustment programs that had a 76% failure rate admitted by the World Bank in 1994? How different is that and what damage is this going you to do to our health You would notice that I told you that first and foremost, you need to have people that see beyond their nose, people who are visionary, people who like Thomas, can, um, Thomas Sankara can say no. We are not going to crawl and beg you for this. This is what we are going to do. I mean, we have... Uh, there are Nigerians Sankara that Sankara said, kill me, and thousands of other Sankaras so, will be born, because he knew. He's a visionary leader, and that is why till date he still lives in our hearts. And people still talk about him. And a lot of... I mean, a lot of children the, in, in that age, you know, in the mid-70s, that have grown to become um, people of uh, uh, note or repute today in Burkina Faso, you know, people, there were people that benefited from the nationwide vaccination. I've told you that if you, if, if, I mean, when people talk about, if, if you read about Thomas Sankara and his austere life, you know, he was a motorbike, he had a lamp, he had a just very simple lifestyle. Minimalist. Is it the people that go with 20 pom 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 pom? Okay. People that are traveling, gallivanting about the country, Chukuri, doing you... elephant projects and not completing them. Are they the people that you want to you want them to chart a course for development? Very quickly and finally, before we move on from the story, if we didn't have to go to seek for aid from the Belinda uh, Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, I beg your pardon, what other options do we have? Are See. we looking at you know decentralizing the health insurance scheme? At a point, Lagos State had said they wanted to start their own health insurance scheme. How successful has that been? And are other states you know taking a cue from this as well? Now, Let us internally generate. See, I have told you that there's a lot of wastage in government. Special advisor, senior special assistant, aid to this, uh, special advisor on grave matters, senior assistant on this, on that. There's a lot of wastage in government. People who receive hardship allowance in this country. People that are balling and receiving hardship allowance in this country. Meanwhile, your minimum wage is 18,000 naira. There's a lot of wastage in government. If we channel the resources in the right, you know, direction, we'll begin to see results. People... Experts have come to say, this is a country that is abundantly blessed. These people do not even need to go cap in hand, begging for, begging for survival, asking people for help. Chukudi, they can you. help themselves. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.